event. I wait to see him because I was going to ask him if we ever try to file a lawsuit against the government about identification, what should we do? <laughs> so that's when I first got to know him. And ever since he's been very familiar to the Chinese community, and a lot of you have heard of him. But unfortunately, he's not here today. And um, for one of them, he actually graduated from Beijing University. So he, he knows uh, some Chinese, and I was uh, surprised when he asked me in Chinese. And um, a very sharp guy, and I hope he will succeed in the uh, uh, campaign and election this, uh, this, this November. And his campaign manager, Nathan, is here to speak on his behalf. I wear a shirt with the hole. I ripped it right before I got out of my car. So you see the hole? Sorry about that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm actually not Doug's campaign manager. Um, I'm in the fin it's okay. I'm in the financial field. It does not allow me to do that. I work for New York Life, so I can't do that. Um, but what I do do for Doug is I'm in five to seven meetings a week within the Asian community. That is my role for Doug. Both as a senior pastor of a large Lutheran church in East St. Paul for eight years, having about 1,800 Hmong members in my church, and also working for New York Life. All I do is work in the Asian community. I do that for Doug. I'll give you a quick update in regards to the election, or the, the race that is. Some of you may know that his opponent is Keith Ellison. He's in the news all the time, all right? But I'll simply say this. More than just hammering on Keith Ellison, Doug, we have to get Doug's name recognition way up, all right? At the beginning of the race, it was 15%. It's at 30. We need it at 65%. That includes the Chinese American community. My work for Doug is in the Vietnamese, Cambodian, Chinese, Karen, um, the East Indian. There's about seven communities I work with all week. On top of the 80 hours of my job, I do about 40 hours for Doug in meetings all the time. The Chinese community, a number of you I know, have been phenomenal. Thank you for your, your support financially and the parades for Doug and other things as well. In regards to Doug's race, again, it, it's, it's gone national. There's more articles that came out today, mostly because of Keith Ellison and what he, his behavior and what his policies are. But in regards to Doug, I mean, just need to know this. What are the main issues he cares about? Education, absolutely. Family, give families more options specifically, which he doesn't work with legislation, but he will support school choice, if that's where our governor can get through as well as our legislature as well to make you, give you the opportunity for your kids to go to whatever school you want to. The money follows the student, the money's not simply sent to schools. So that's one thing he will support, and that, if, that, if that passes, it'll probably be lawsuit after lawsuit. Doug will defend at school choice, all right? Doug wants small business owners to have less regulations. And as I do my work for Doug in the Asian community, entrepreneurs are all over the place. Small businesses all over the place. Doug would like to work with the legislature and encourage them, or all the rules, the regulations, and so forth by unelected, as he says, bureaucrats, to give a thumbs down to a lot of those which are not laws, and make this business environment much better for all of you who have small businesses, and also encourage and to reduce taxes. But again, he doesn't pass the laws. But in Doug's role in the Attorney General's office, he has a lot of influence on what goes on in the economy here in Minnesota through rules and regulations. So that's a big thing for you too. So it's family, it's education, it's again, less regulations and so forth too. But Doug's key priority right now is we don't, some people say law and order, probably not the best way to put it out to the public, but rather um, community and safety. Safe communities, all right? I know we live outside of St. Paul in Minneapolis, there's a lot of stuff going on, but inside the office, Doug wants to take the politics out, support our police, support our law enforcement, make sure the rules on the books are, are, are followed. And as he says, he doesn't, want to, he doesn't want to see more laws. Simply the laws are in place, let's enforce them. And that's what Doug will do uh, for the communities, as well also um, for, for many others around the state. So as I'll finish, I'll just kind of give you a few updates it's not week to week for Doug right now, it's day to day. Um, the donations are flowing in more than we've ever seen, which is amazing. Sometimes ten to $15,000 a day, maybe 50000 some days, who knows. 
but we can win this race. Doug's name's got to come up. We've got to talk to your neighbors and your communities. We've got to reach voters we've never reached before. All right, that's in the Asian community, that's outside the Asian community, all over the place. And simply know uh, this as much, uh, too. The ground game, it matters. We have to be in, on the ground, talking with people who have not voted, and so forth. And again, the last thing I'll say is this week, hopefully, there's some key endorsements for him coming, one of which we take a lot of pride in, that's the Minneapolis Police Federation. They've never, they've never gone for a Republican for a long time, and on Thursday we'll find out he's presented, we need that. We need St. Paul Police to endorse him. We want that, those people to endorse him because it's something we have a hand, and it goes along with Doug's message as well. So again, thank you very much. I understand maybe in September, there's gonna be a special thing where Doug simply talks about the office more to you. But again, I received lots of emails from members here during the week um, from you, and I try to answer those as quickly as I can. But on behalf of Doug, uh, thank you, and God bless Minnesota, and God bless the United States of America.